Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Biden. Today we are going to explore about the network load balancer in AWS. How can a network load balancer handle our traffic and ensuring our web application? Let us imagine our web application is gaining popularity and suddenly we are hit with a massive influx of users. But our server start to slow down and our website becomes sluggish. That's where AWS network load balancer comes to the picture. This high performance load balancer can scale horizontally, meaning it can add more backend resources like EC2 instances to distribute the increasing traffic and ensuring our users get the seamless experience they deserve. So what exactly is the network load balancer? Well, it is a kind of a layer 4 load balancer and also known as L4 load balancer operating at the transport layer of OSI model. So how does it work? It spread incoming client's request across multiple registered target and making sure that no single instance is overwhelmed. This actually helps prevent any bottleneck and ensure our application stay up and running even during traffic spikes. We can say it is an intelligent load balancing algorithm like as a brain of the load balancer which actually deciding which target should receive each incoming request. Well, AWS offers several load balancing algorithm like a round robin in which it simply goes in order and distributing each incoming request to the next target in line. Other one is like least outstanding request. It means it send incoming request to the target with the fewest outstanding request and helping to evenly distribute the load network. Load balancer will also use IP hash means a hash function on the source IP address to, uh, to determine which target will handle the request the more we know about these algorithms, the better we can optimize our application performance. So let's go to our AWS console and see how to create a network load balancer. Right now, our three instances and load balancer are already created in our last classes. So we will continue from it. Go to the load balancer. Now this time we are going to create a network load balancer. So the process is quite very similar. Click on create load balancer. Now we have three options and choose a network load balancer. Put the name over there, that is demo NLP. Select the internet facing on a scheme and IPv4 for IP address type. We have our default VPC and choose all three subnets for mapping. Now go to the listeners and routing. Right now we have no target group as you can see. So click to create a target group. Select the instance. Name the target group that is demo target group NLB. Protocol is TCP port 80. Default VPC. Now in health check, we have option of their protocol between HTTP and HTTPS. If we choose HTTPS, then we have to attach the SSL certificate. Although we can create a certificate with the help of AWS certificate manager, but we will discuss about it in some other video. Now click on advanced health check setting. These are the setting. How can our instance perform on the basis of these threshold and timeout. So we can limit a kind of a threshold and define the instance health. Let us healthy threshold is 2. It means it will check 2 successful health check before considering the instance unhealthy. Unhealthy means if our instance not working with any reason like updation required, package installation required or any other kind of requirement. Let us say our unhealthy threshold is also 2 means two time a consecutive health check failure is required for the considered as a unhealthy instance. Timeout let's say two seconds. Two seconds is quite very little but uh, because we are doing a demo that is why taking two seconds otherwise you can take up to two minutes and let's say interval for five seconds. Leave all things as it is and click on next. Now the second part is to include all our instances as a target group to so select all the instances and click on include as pending below. Create the target group. Now our target group has been created for network load balancer and currently we have two target groups. The other one we created in our last video. Now go to the load balancer and select the target group. And these are the summary of basic configuration, mapping of networking, listeners and routing. Now click on create a load balancer. Click to view. Right now it is in provisioning state. Our previous video on application load balancer is active. Now go to the target group. 
select the load balancer click on the target and right now one of our instance is unhealthy well i know the reason let me refresh it and you can see our all instances are unhealthy so these instances are unhealthy because in our last class you remember we had created a security group for the load balancer and attach our instances for that security group that's why it show the status of instance is unhealthy because it cannot connect to the instances so let us go to remove the security group let's go to the instances select any of them click on security now go to the security group click on edit inbound rule you can see a security group it attach to the instance that's why it prevent to connect the target so delete it and create a new rule of http anywhere ipv4 and save the rule now let's go to the target group and refresh the registered target this time our instances are healthy let's go to our load balancer and refresh it and it is active so copy the dns and go to the browser and check it oops i accidentally cancel the address let me copy it again and paste the dns and press enter and our load balancer working perfectly but stick to the particular instance because it is a network load balancing not based on application but based on my network so it may possible if i put this dns on some other system or server that it will be show some other instance because of the network change so that's it from this video and if you enjoy this video subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell share your thoughts and questions in the comment below and don't forget to explore other amazing aws feature we have covered on our channel until next time keep learning thank you